tonight, um, the the word on the street tonight is uh, is um, stop weaponizing uh, your your children. Stop weaponizing your children. Um, the book of Psalms, chapter 127, verse 3 says this. The word of God says, behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. The fruit of the, the womb is a reward. That's in Psalms, chapter 127, verse 3. That's in the New King James Version. I normally don't give out the location because I really want you to look it up. But tonight I wanted you to see that. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. It is a reward. And the word on the street tonight is stop weaponizing your children. Stop weaponizing your children. Now, I have to say this. Um, this I, I, it came on my heart. You know, God put this on my heart. Um, I think it was Christmas Eve or even Christmas when a young man last year uh, around Christmas time killed his uh his uh, fiance or his no his ex girlfriend who was pregnant, and then killed his ex wife. Went to her house and killed her his ex wife, and uh, he did it all Facebook live. He did it all live on Facebook, and his children were with him. Now the children are really by themselves. They don't have either parent, and that is truly sad. Um, and as the young man was speaking, he was talking about how he had been through so much in the last three years. Now, I'm not condoning what he did in any way, um, but he had spoke about how much he had been through that drove him to this place um, to kill his ex uh a fiance or his ex-girlfriend, then go kill his ex-wife. Um, and he spoke about the, uh, you know, the weaponizing and the parental alienation uh, between him and his ex-wife. And then I think the girlfriend has, was his ex-girlfriend, has spoken about doing the same thing. So tonight, I want to talk about stop weaponizing your children. Stop weaponizing. And this might help someone uh, because it is known that people do weaponize. Now, I'm not, like I said, I'm not condoning what he did. I'm not doing that. Uh, what he did was wrong. What he did was a sin, you know, a sinful act, uh, not only to man, but unto God. But I want to speak on the weaponizing of children. And we see that a lot in uh, the separation in relationships and also in divorce. Now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to definitely talk a lot about this. You know, I really want to open up and get everybody to mute off once I finish uh, going through uh to talk about this. And I'm glad a lot of the ladies are here uh, so we can really speak on this and talk about this and go through this. I don't want to turn this and my, and uh, uh, Jerry, you don't really even have to record this if you don't want to, but you can. But um, I mean, once we start uh, uh, talking or opening the floor. Okay. So the text tells us, you know, the word of God says, behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. That's, that's the text that we're working with. And our subject tonight is stop weaponizing your children. Stop weaponizing your children. Children, you know, it's sad, though, that children are often caught in an emotional crossfire when their parents either separate or divorce. Okay. 
Now, many couples continue to, you know, fight for years uh, after or even doing separation over issues such as uh, like visitation. They fight over holidays and child support and, and, and many, many other, uh, sometimes it seems as petty issues, uh, not really thinking about the child, but really uh, back and forth among each other. Now, research repeatedly shows this, that children, uh, children's adjustment and mental health, check it out, depend directly on whether or not and how well their parents protect the children from the ongoing conflict. You know, uh, it's important that we as Christians and then we as believers to not really involve our children in our conflicts or our disputes, amen? That is not the place for a child to be, okay? Uh, parents who consciously or unconsciously sabotage their children's relationship with the other parent for revenge on their ex-spouse or their ex-girlfriend or, or boyfriend, or sometimes in, in the case of a legal custody, both parents are doing it. I'm not just going to say to women, uh, and I'm not just going to say to men, but both parents at some time or some point feel that it is okay to weaponize their children or alienate uh, the other parent in, in the, uh, the, the family circle uh, when it comes to their children. Now, we learn in time, you know, really how this behavior will cause lasting damage, okay? Lasting damage to the children uh, which is often, sometimes it's irreversible. It's irreversible. The damage that you do to a child in this type of conflict and this type of weaponizing is really a long-term damage to that child. Uh, many, and, and it may manifest many years, many years after the conflict is basically over. Amen. Uh, too often we um, uh, uh, think that we are winning, but in actually, actually we're we're, we're losing, amen. So, um, let, and I need you guys to stick with me because uh, I really need everybody to chime in on this one. This is one that we really need to talk about. This is one that we really uh, need to. Um, really discuss because a lot of this is going on. Matter of fact, I am experiencing it myself with my son. Uh, so it's, and I know a lot of other fathers and mothers are experiencing the same thing. Uh, so listen, uh, it, we must understand that this thing manifests, it, it, it directly uh, damages sometime or majority of the time the child that goes through this type of conflict, this type of weaponizing. Listen, sons and daughters are like, uh, and, and this is this is this is the Bible. This is biblical. Sons and daughters are like our precious gifts from God. That's what I want you to understand. And they are equal value to the family, girls and boys. Okay, uh, their contribution to the family may be different. Uh, uh, but for God in his, his infinite wisdom made males and females with distinctive strengths, okay? Nevertheless, they are equally in, you know, important. They are equal and they, and they are very important. Every child, whether a son or a daughter, is a unique blessing from the Lord. Please understand that. Please understand that. You know, sometimes fathers get offended or they go harder when their sons and their relationships are, uh, are, are, are threatened. And then sometimes uh, fathers are more of, uh, uh, defensive when the daughters are in his relationship uh, or, or reverse. 
Sometimes it's the mother. You know, sometimes most boys are a, a mother's uh, a, a boy, a mama boys, you know. So it depends on the relationship with uh, the parent that they will use that child as a weapon to inflict or afflict damage. I'm sorry, afflict damage onto uh, the other parent. Uh, it may be for vengeance. Uh, it may be for control, whatever the deal is, we must understand that God never intended for us to use our children as a form of a weapon or weaponizing them. He never intended for that. He never intended for that. We ought to love our children. We ought to train them up. Uh, the way we want them to go, that's in Timothy. We are, to, we are in charge of never provoking our children. You know, we, all, all that is in the Bible. All this is in the word of God. Uh, and what we fail to understand is that when we weaponize our children against the other parent, we are not doing the will of God. We're not doing the will of we, We're going against the will of God. We're going against the will of God. Okay, so um, let me go a little further. Now, and, and we're going to open up after this. Without question, check me out, children are a gift from the Lord. That's what the text says. Here Solomon stated, right in this text, right in Psalm, Solomon stated that children are a reward from God. We, a reward is the word used of like waging or wages or salary paid to a high person. Now, when God created Adam and Eve, okay, when he created Adam and Eve, he gave human beings the amazing responsibility, check it out, of managing the earth and its resources. That's what God did. He appointed them as stewards over his creation. Remember what I said that his creation. He blessed them by saying this. This is what God said. Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Replenish the earth. Part of God's reward to humanity in return for tending to his creation is this. It's the blessing of having children. And we are charged in raising children in the admission of Christ, of God. That's, that's our job. That's our job. That's, that's, we should raise them up in the word of God. Raise them up and train them up to respect God, to know who God is. That's our job as Christians. You cannot raise them up in that way and weaponize them to the other parent. It can't be done. It can't be. You can't teach a child to be deceiving. You can't teach a child to lie. You can't teach a child to be a, 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 a weapon and mean to the other parent, all right, or disrespectful to the other parent, and then say that you're raising them up in Christ, that you're raising them, raising them up in the word of God. You can't do that. Can't happen. So it's very important. Uh, that we as believers in Christ understand that we should never weaponize our children or play the game of parental, parental, I'm sorry, parental, um, what's the word, alienation. We should never do that. That should not even be on a Christian person's mind to alienate a parent or weaponize a child to inflict pain on another parent. That should not be the case. Never. Amen. So when we see it, I'm talking to you grandparents, you uncles, you aunts, when you see this act, you need to speak up and say something and help them to understand the danger, the danger of weaponizing the danger 
of alienating, you know, alienation of a parent. Because let me tell you something. One, you never know when your expiration date is up. And that parent will have the other parent that they have to deal with. You never know. Tomorrow is not promised. So you want your child to have an equal relationship with both parents, a godly relationship with God, knowing who Christ is, amen, amen, and, and knowing that it is not his duty, the child's duty, to be a weapon to inflict any pain on either parent, amen? This, this is real. And I know this is going on not just in the black community, it's going on in every community. Because for some reason, we claim ownership. Look at the text. It says it is an inheritance. It is a gift from God. Children are an inheritance, a gift from God. It is a reward from the womb. That's what it says. That's the word of God. So God is the creator. We are the creation. Now, who, which one of us have ownership? It ain't the creation. Amen. God has ownership, right? So sometimes we claim ownership. That's my son. You know, that's, that's my daughter. Uh, you know, we try to claim ownership and control without involving the other parent. We're not giving the other parent equal rights, equal say-so in raising the child, especially when we Christians. This is an ungodly act. This is an ungodly act. God is not pleased with weaponizing your children. God is not pleased with alienating your parents. Now, if you have a situation, and I got to say this on top of that, if you have a situation where a parent is violent or they're in a violent or a place where uh, there may uh, harm may come to the child, hey, you have to do the proper, uh, uh, you, you, you may need, you need to take the proper precautions when it comes to that. I, 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 you know, that, that's not parenting alienation. That's not, <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about. If you have a, 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 a parent that is not fit or unfit, mentally, physically, whatever that situation may be, that is not your, you know, then you are, we're working on something totally different, okay? But what I'm saying is if you have a parent that is willing to be a father or a mother in the lives of the child, amen, but you decided that you want to be the only parent you, you, you want to cause and inflict pain on the other parent by weaponizing your children, that is not godly. That is not godly. So uh, it's important that we do not weaponize our children. They are a gift from God. And, and, and I'll say that over and over again. They are a gift from God. They are heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. That's what the word of God says.